Hi, my name is Joel Hoffman. I'm the Open Platform Marketing Manager for Renesis Electronics. And we're here to talk today about food. In fact, we're gonna talk about chips. But we're not talking about your garden variety of chips. We're talking about automotive chips. Automotive chips are very important for your diet. They can save your life. Automotive chips that work well and are hardened and reliable can be put into autonomous driving cars. And we're building the basic technology to enable that to happen in the next several decades. But to give you an idea of what some of those basic technologies are, we've put together an assemblance of demonstrations. First of all, on this demonstration here, we have an illustration of a, a variety of European street signs. This is a well-known benchmark test called the convoluted neural network. It's a method to validate how to identify an object. And if you're driving an autonomous car or it's driving you, you need to make sure that it recognizes the sign and knows what kind of sign it is. It needs to know the difference between a stop sign, a yield sign, an 80, a 100, because that's how it's going to know how to get to where you need to be safely. So this algorithm is just one of hundreds of algorithms that are going to be introduced into vehicles. And we need to find ways to run them quickly and cost effectively and with limited amounts of heat and power. So what we've done is we've created a special chip called the RCAR V3M. And the V3M has our highly optimized video processing chip that is able to perform these calculations on the top half of the screen at the speed that you're seeing them with 100% accuracy. Now, on the bottom half of the screen, we're doing the exact same thing using one of the cores that's also on that V3M chip that is an ARM A53, a general purpose processor. And what we're pointing out is how much faster we can perform the same calculations on the designated video processing chip. The good news is that that video processing chip is so small and so optimized that it can run in a very small package, which means it's likely you will not need heat controlling systems like nitrogen cooling or liquid cooling, like we have seen in many of the autonomous driving examples. This is really research work, fundamental enabling technology. It involves the work of research scientists who are really inventing these things. And we need those scientists to come up with these new ideas but to apply them to the production of an automobile, it's a big process. It's a complex process. It requires lots of engineering. So as we move down further, I'm able to show you another demonstration. Now, in this case, we are using the work of one of our partners, NewSoft. NewSoft is one of the largest software companies in the world. They have developed algorithms specifically for object detection. In this sample, they are able to detect the lanes on the road very accurately. They're able to detect objects in the road such as vehicles. And they're able to detect moving objects like pedestrians. Very, very important to be able to see these pedestrians when you're looking at through a machine's eyes. Their software is commercially viable. In other words, that means that it's ready to be integrated into a real car. It's not a, it's not a science experiment. It's not a demonstration for a show. It's something that can be built into a production vehicle with a limited amount of additional work. And that's why it's so important. So they can run their software on top of our hardware technology. And in this case, they're running their hardware technology on our most advanced R car system on chip called the H3. This is our third generation high performance chip. It includes not only the vision processing algorithms, but also a large number, upwards of 10 ARM cores that can do this calculation work very efficiently in combination with other tasks that are happening at the same time. So in an autonomous driving car, you have to have a lot of things going on at one time. And the computer system has to keep up. It's not just about having one big computer in the car. And then finally, on this demonstration, I'm putting together something you're gonna see much sooner than you probably are going to see an autonomous driving car. It's a sensor fusion where we're able to present to you as a driver a variety of views of your car. Imagine what, how, what benefits you get from just having a rear camera in your car. Many people have these today in their production cars. But can you imagine being able to look at the top of your car and knowing exactly where it is in relationship to the garage door or the curb or any other object that's in its way? Or maybe even being able to spin it around and look at it in different perspectives? 
that capability is already possible through software and hardware, but it's not necessarily cost effective. And so that's why you aren't being offered that in your new car. So what Renesis has done is we have moved the technology costs down way on the cost scale in keeping the performance necessary to, pro to provide this kind of capability in the most advanced vehicles. So you have a really a heterogeneous computing capability shown just in these three demonstrations. On the left, we're using a dedicated Renesis uh, processing system, vision processing system. In the middle, we're using ARM cores to do the work of object detection, a very important forward cam camera feature. And over here, we're using the functions of a general or a graphics processing unit, a GPU, uh, that we license from Imagination Technologies. At, at Renesis, we recognize how many different partners need to be part of our ecosystem. And we've created an alliance called the Our Car Consortium. And this is a way for our partners to get together close and exchange technical information with us so that they can develop these advanced systems for the automotive industry specifically. We're not just looking at automotive as one of a, a myriad of vertical markets that we support. It's one of the most important ones because it's demanding the advanced technology of the future. Finally, on the TV screen, we are presenting some of these solutions to you in the context of our full vehicle development that we've done. So to build a full scale model of what we are able to do, we have put together a small fleet of, of automobiles. They are driving on the road. In fact, they're self-driving as allowed. And at CES last year, we showed our self-driving car going around the parking lot, but not only doing that, but doing it in a case where if something fails in that car, it will be safe. Our emphasis is on safety, not on novelty. We are more concerned about the car driving you home safely than just simply having it drive by itself. So our range of solutions for the automotive industry is not something that we created in one day. It's taken years, decades, for us to build the legacy and the heritage and the trust that you need to build your solutions. I welcome you to take a closer look at these solutions and many others by contacting Renesis Electronics.